So she she came in as I wrote the story. Um, I'd come up with um, so th these gangs that the water rat kids that they kind of live in these little these crews. So they're basically gangs of kids who don't have um, they're either you know don't have parents or they've, they've run away from home for whatever reason. And so they kind of live in a, I suppose it is a kind of Victorian style um, kind of gangs who kind of lurk in the, in the on the periphery of of society. And I I'd, I'd already named the Cutthroat Gang. Um, and because it, it, it was quite a you know quite a fun name, and I think one of the one of the ways I write is I, I'm very much influenced by by names of things, so names of characters and names of places and so on. If I come up with a good name, that's really inspiring because you think, mm, who is that person? So when I come up with the Cutthroat Gang, that then thought, well, well, who is this Cutthroat person? You know, and again, the idea of having a, a kind of older teenage girl who kind of ran, ran the crew, and then having and then think, well. You know what does that? What is? You know why is she called cutthroat? And because the 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 obvious reason is because she cuts people's throats. Whereas actually, as you find in the story, there's a very different reason for why she's called that. And again, so you start to layer the the, the ideas there. Where I think what you know when you're writing, you you try and come up with something that people will resonate with people. So the cutthroat crew is something. That, oh yes, that sounds fun. It's like, like pirates or whatever. And then also it gives you gives you a chance to to kind of slightly play a game with the readers in terms of what that then that actually means. So it's it's a little bit unexpected in terms of um, in terms of the story. So she she appeared in, in the stories. Um, you know, as I, as I when I needed when I needed her to, and then she started to kind of grow as a character.